सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक इन द डेवोप्स प्रोजेक्ट वन दैट इज विद सोनार क्यूब विद द गेट ऑफ एक्शन नाउ वाट इज द गेट ऑफ एक्शन हाउ द सोनार क्यूब इज गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट विद दिस वन यू कैन सी इन माई प्रोजेक्ट नाउ दिस इज द डेवोप्स प्रोजेक्ट वन एंड I am going to explain this project how this is going to work and we have implemented the same project in this course so if you understand this devops project workflow by these diagrams you can easily develop your own devops project with the sonar cube server or the sonar cube cloud and let's talk about the devops project one this is the sonar cube with the github actions now you understand what is the github actions github actions are the ci integration for the sonar cube we just provide the ci cd pipelines through the github actions if you are working with the github project now uh, let me talk about the devops project one in this project i am going to develop the entire project with the solutions in this course see this project flow very carefully and after that you will understand that how it is easy to develop a devops project with the sonar cube and sonar cube nowadays playing a most and the major role in the devops life cycle so if you are going to prepare for the devops engineer you need to add the one more tool that is called the sonar cube because i was working on the mastercard and that time i realized that the sonar cube code quality inspection is very important if you are working for a devops project so suppose that you are a developer you are a java developer you are a php developer you are a node js you are a front end back end or full stack developer even you are a automation testers sdet you are writing a code developers will write the code and the commit the code you are writing the code you commit the code on your local system and then you need to push the code and for pushing the code on the repository you need one repository so here i am going to take the github as of now so github is a github repository and it is the source code management repository tool where we keep all our code on the server on the cloud environment so developer will commit the code on the local system and then they push the code in the github repository in the github they have created the repository and for this repository they have the different type of the branch and in your branch you need to push the code now you have your code in the github repository now i want to perform the code quality analysis and the code quality scanning through the tool so for that i need to set up the sonar cube server now here i am going to take the sonar cube server and this sonar cube server is installation version on the windows and the linux machine now i have done the installation and the setup of the sonar cube server on the windows after that i need to perform the integration between the github and the sonar cube so when i did the integration between the github and the sonar cube now we have done the integration between the sonar cube server and the git do the integration between the github and the sonar cube we need to create the github app id we need the secret id secret password private key there are many things we need and then we can add these things in the sonar cube server when we are creating the devops configurations that we call as the integration between the github and the sonar cube server once the integration is successfully tested we need to select the analysis method through the sonar cube so these things we are doing on the sonar cube server the son in the sonar cube we need to select the analysis method the analysis method here i am using the github actions because because i did the integration between github and the sonar cube so for the github i am selecting here the analysis method is the github actions because when you creating a github project and you are pulling the code from the github after the integration you need to select the analysis method that the sonar cube will give you the options github actions so you need to select the github actions here as a analysis method now github actions is in my ci pipeline this is a continuous integration pipeline and this continuous integration pipeline will pull the code from the github when it pull the code from the github and then you start executing this ci pipeline through the github actions then it will come to the build and the test code stage in the build and the test code stage the maven build takes place so wherever you are running your github actions if you are running the github actions on the windows on windows systems you need to install the maven and for the maven you need to install the jdk so maven build takes place if you have set up the github hosted runner on the linux machine you need to set up the maven there so wherever you are going to run your ci pipelines through the self hosted 
runner or the github runner you need three things first java git and the maven should be set up on this machine so github actions will play ci pipelines and then we build and test the code and for that we use the maven once the maven build and test the code it will go to the analyze code stage it will a build and the test code we have added in the pom.xml file the sonar cube plugin so when we have added the sonar cube scanner plugin it will start the scanning the code that will come under the analyze code stage in the analyze code stage the sonar scanner and the language analyzer from the ci cd will check the scanning for the source file those are available and then languages on which language the code is written and after that the static code analysis process will start and for that they will send or publish that report to the sonar cube server the sonar scanner will be added in the pom.xml file as a plugin and when this plugin will execute then the sonar scanner and the language analyzer will be enabled in the analyze code stage and once they have done the job they have find out the number of the source files and the language they will publish the uh, the report to the sonar cube server for the static code analysis uh, the sonar cube server on the sonar cube server we have set up some quality profile we call is the language rule so by default they are using the sonar way so quality profile is will having all the rules related to that language those will be the sonar cube server will apply these rules on the published reports through the sonar scanner and the language analyzer and then it will perform the static code analysis they it will start the scanning and once the scanning is done it will upload the result into the sonar cube database so by default it will use the sonar cube database and you can set up the sql postgrel any sonar cube supported database and you can integrate that with sonar cube server the sonar cube server will use the sonar cube server database and it will upload the analysis report the scanner will give you all the source code file informations to the sonar cube server sonar cube server will apply the quality profile and the language rules to the these uh, files then it will perform the code scanning and after that it will upload the analysis result and from the sonar cube uh, database the search engine will work and the search engine will display the results on the web server the web server which is access on the browser that for example we are using the http localhost 9000 by default port number so we are accessing this one so we call as the web server so the web server will pull the code from the sonar cube database when the search engine will work so this uh, things is done now how it is playing role in the devops for the software quality standard okay so now we have the sonar cube database we have all the scanning report we have uploaded here then in the sonar cube database it will check the quality gate so the sonar cube server in the sonar cube server we have set up the quality gate and this quality gate will check from the sonar cube database based on the results so whatever result we have in the sonar cube database the quality gate will check the results if the quality gate pass or the fail so quality gate means it is having some conditions for the language so quality profile having all the language rules quality gate having some conditions like uh, it should pass 80% 90% it is Uh, capable for the deployment or the not based on the quality of the code so if it is a poor code means your sonar cube define the quality gate less than whatever we have defined it is whether we define as a fail or the pass so when the quality gate pass then we can go for the release or the production environment or for the testing then it will go to the next phase in the devops as we have learned earlier if it is fail so for example the quality gate fail then we have the choice go back to the github ci cd pipelines so then we define continue or the fail say so it way we define the ci pipeline will fail means the quality gate was not passed that it could fail that means see we can see the ci pipeline fail when the ci pipeline will fail the devops engineer will check why this ci pipeline fail so 
If it is failed due to the quality gate, then they will inform to the back to the developers. Developer will take all the analysis report and they will access this analysis report through the web server. And after that, they will start changing the code and fixing the code. Again, they will push the code to GitHub. 